What's up friends, welcome to the Go Help Yourself channel. I am John and I'm officially done with the tie light rebuild and I will get right into uh, what I had to do with this chair. Now first of all there was a uh, makeshift foot plate on there and we definitely had to get that off. It was pretty ugly, someone had cut plexiglass and uh, yeah this is how we took it off. It, uh, they drilled three bolts which is unfortunate they drilled on the foot plate but we were able to get that off pretty easily and uh, whoever created this foot plate needs to be like charged <laughs> but um, no they had the right idea it's just that they kind of went a little lazy with it and uh, just didn't fit it to the foot plate very well so yeah we got that one out with three bolts pretty easily as you can see it's just a piece of plexiglass and um, unfortunately they left some spurs and we don't want people cutting their feet when they end up do getting the chair so uh, we ended up filing the uh, spurs off the drilled holes and uh, that was a little tricky but we eventually got it um, now these frames are titanium so uh, it's, some it's amazing uh, how strong titanium is so it was a little different to shave these burrs off completely than regular like steel but it ended up working out um, my friend's pretty good he's he's an engineer studying to be an engineer and he's got a lot of great ideas so i'm blessed to be working with him my friend dave there so yeah so you can see we um filed all the holes there and uh after that's all set um i'll show you what we're on to next So right here we are removing the folding push handles and they need to be removed to install the back, the new back that I got for the chair. So this was pretty simple, just uh, an Allen head bolt that you pull out one bolt and it comes right out as you can see there. And uh, that thing that fell out is an insert that needs to go in there to make it so the, there's not play in the, uh, the bar of the uh, folding push handle. So yeah, we went for the second one. And these were really easy to take off. This was a relatively easy project to do compared to some of them that I had to rebuild. Um, the chair was very clean. Um, regardless, we gave it a good detail after. But yeah, you can see the folding push handle there. And uh, then we went to installing the back. And uh, I'll let you watch how the back installed. Um, these are pretty cool how they work. They have um, all Velcro and a little bit of buckles to tension them. But besides that, they're pretty cool how they work, and uh, yeah, enjoy. As you can see, the bands on the lower side, um, they're, t they're um, adjustable for tension, so it depends on how loose or tight you want the back, and uh, yeah, you could just pull the tab there, unvelcro them, pull the tab, and uh, tension them, which is a genius idea. A lot of wheelchairs actually have that. My uh, Quickie wheelchair has that, and uh, yeah, it's a great idea.
can be a little tricky um, getting them perfect on the Velcro, but if you you know just uh, use your um, your best and you know eye it out so it's level, you can uh, make them absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, this one came out awesome. It's amazing how good they look with a new back on them. And uh, yeah, after that, we are going to install the push handles again. Install the push handles, we just slide them in and had to move up a little bit of the material to put the Allen heads back in. But yeah, it's really easy to put these push handles on. They're uh, different than other chairs. Some chairs, um, it's a couple bolts, uh, depends of course on the chair. But yeah, these were really easy to install. last thing we had to install was the brakes and uh, these brakes are really cool they use a clamp system with a couple allen heads and then they use uh, an adjustable like barrel I guess you could say to move back and forth depending on the tread on the tire and you can pretty much see how they work so of course we did the right side and the left side and yeah the chair was all set um, besides you know I didn't take any video of us detailing it but we uh, detailed it really thoroughly so the chair is very clean and the chair came out looking really well so yeah enjoy the uh, brake installation here and then I'll show you uh, what the chair looks like um, overall completed chair it turned out absolutely beautiful I really love the exposed titanium and it's amazing how light this thing is being titanium and carbon fiber but it's gonna be a great chair for someone and uh, yeah it looks amazing so thank you for watching if you're new consider subscribing it really helps the channel and as always stay strong stay active stay creative and go help yourself friends over and out